What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh my gosh, okay, we have major drama all over the world, YouTube exploding everywhere. Drama with Jeffree Star, drama with Todrick Hahn, Jeffree Star. It's gonna get intense, girl. We have a lot to talk about, oh my gosh. So for those of you who aren't caught up on the drama, Todrick is, what would you say? I know he makes a lot of YouTube video, music videos. Todrick Hall makes this awesome, amazing, amazing YouTube videos. And he's also a guest on Drag Race and he also like tours doing his songs. People that are from small towns, and that have big dreams and like move to big cities, what's yeah. one piece of advice that you could give to them? I would just say all of the advice that you give is very cheesy advice that you've all heard before, but it's just so important and so pertinent. It's just believe in yourself, surround yourself with people who will be honest with you, and um, chase your dreams because you only live once. Don't put anything off until tomorrow. Do everything that you ever dreamed that you could do. Chase the dream now, not tomorrow. Well, here's where the drama happens because his personal assistant, for years, finally has came forward to expose Todrick Hall. Oh my gosh. To me, in my opinion, my conspiracy allegedly, this sounds like a, a disgruntled employee. That's what this sounds like to me. Anytime somebody used to work with somebody, whether it was like a contract job or like a project, and they finish it and later on, you know, that person got explodes bigger and then this person's like well you remember that one time oh years ago it's kind of like that but i have all the receipts and deleted tweets here we go damn eyelash girl i gotta fix it okay let me get my setting spray because this drama is gonna crack my contour <sighs> this is my setting spray you can get it click the link below just check it out all right so tommy says i was todrick hall's personal assistant for years and I know every detail of his life, including deliberate non-payment to people, racism, sexual assault, sexual harassment, online bullying, exploitation, illegal business practices. The list goes on. P.S. I never signed NDA. And then there's a picture of them both. Like, oh, okay, um, okay, first of all, Okay, so all this was going on and you still work for him? So this says a lot about you as well as it does him. You know what I'm trying to say? So if all this drama was going, the scandal, you were still working for him. Now look, I'm, I'm, look I never met Todd Call. I never met Tommy. I'm just calling it like I see it. It just seems like this is an attack to try to take Todd Call down. Todd Call, in my opinion, recently has blown up. Okay, he's hanging out with Taylor Swift now. He's doing bigger things. And when that happens, a lot of people feel insecure and they want to pull you back down. That's how I'm seeing it right now. I could be wrong, but here we go with the drama. After Todrick became friends with Taylor Swift, he said to me, Taylor's assistant would not be wearing a fitted hat or Jordans. I need you to start looking more white because you look too ethnic and ghetto actual quote and no hat rule went into effect and then he posted a picture of him with the hat on okay so you know these rumors been going around that Ta Taja Call has changed as he's been hanging around T Taylor Swift I've been hearing that I feel like he has changed for the better okay I feel like he you start hanging around people of a different caliber you know what I'm saying just kind of like you kind of like, okay, you know what? I think I know how to like run the business a little bit more smoother. These are just rumors. And so, you know what? You're at work. Tommy shouldn't be wearing a hat anyways at work. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? Who am I? Am I done? No, I'm gonna keep going. So, you know, you shouldn't be wearing a hat at work. You were just wearing a hat at work because it, that's what you were doing all this time because you and Todrick were cool, right? But if you see that Todrick call, is starting to like get over oh, there hanging out with Oprah now, girl. You need to, you know, spruce, spruce it up a little bit. You know, you're getting around bigger names, people with more money. You know, take off the hat. Take out, you know, don't be smoking around. I don't know. I'm just saying, okay? You can come for me in the comments if you want, but I'm just saying how I see it. Who wants to see the full video of Todrick bashing Taylor Swift? Tamar Braxton, her sis in disbelief, but does not want to comment or something like that. I don't know. Todrick tried to bury the video. Also more, 
Todrick told me that Taylor Swift wore Kim Kardashian's stolen ring during some music video in bathtub. Okay, first of all, you're dumb, okay? You shouldn't be out there. Who wants to see the video? You need to be shopping that video around to TMZ, shopping it around to someone who would buy it for a couple thousand dollars, and here you are, and here you are posting online for free. You're dumb. And you know what? I rarely go off like this, but you're very messy. That's very messy. And I'm gonna say this. You ruined yourself, Tommy. You literally have ruined, I never met her girl, I never met Tommy. I'm just speaking, I'm calling how I say it. This is how I feel. You ruin yourself, Tommy. You are a personal assistant, or were, to Todrick Hall, who is literally blowing up in front of all of our eyes. And you're doing this? Instead of parting ways with Todrick Hall gracefully and being cool, you go and spread all this tea and mess. So you know what this does? Nobody's gonna wanna work with you. No other celebrity, no other rising star is gonna wanna work with you, Tommy, because you got loose lips and you spill the tea. This is huge. You were working for Todrick Hall who's clearly making a couple million dollars a year. You could have easily parlayed that and went to somebody else and was like, look, I helped Todrick Hall with music videos. I did this, I did this. I can help you, I can build you. You could have be, you could have got paid even more money working for another millionaire, but now you're known as Someone who spills the tea when something doesn't go right. As soon as you get fired or as soon as you quit, you start spilling the tea. So you ruin yourself. Being a personal assistant, it's, you're part of that, that rock star life. And so now, girl, you're going to be working a regular job now. No offense to people like that. But you're just going to be, you're not going to be flying coast to coast, eating scrambled eggs and toast and touring the world. You really had it made. And I think you ruined yourself by you coming forward with these receipts which is, to me, in my opinion, right now, it's all looking like he said, she said, and Todd Recall, which I reached out personally to Todd Recall, no response yet, no comment as of this moment. But we'll see if he gets back to us with the phone call and exclusive. But it just kind of feels like you ruined yourself, Tommy. You really did. You're slandering somebody that you were friends with for a very long time. And if you're friends with somebody for a very long time, and now that it's over, you want to go like snitch or whatever. That, it just makes you look bad. Yes, if some of the stuff that Todd, that you're saying about Todd Recall is true, it also looks bad on him. But it's like to be backstabbed by a friend, girl. This makes you look bad. Anyways, here we go. He has more tea. We got into a verbal argument earlier this year into the dressing room of Chicago the musical because Todrick spent over two thousand dollars on a boy from Instagram. He never met, he never met, but didn't pay me or Zach whatever for weeks of work on his party album. Okay, first of all, it's shady. I have heard rumors that Todrick Kahn doesn't play, pay his employees, but whatever. Here's a receipt that I got from the viewer's voice that Manila Luzon, which is a former drag race contestant, came forward and said, well, you still owe me for hosting your Halloween party since last year, Todrick Hall. Shady boots, shady boots. It is shady that it seems like at this point you're like, oh, he spent money on a boy from Instagram. Look, Todrick Hall is living that rock star life. If he sees someone on Instagram he likes, he gotta fly you out. What's up? You wanna hang out? You know what I'm saying? And then you're making you're making in that seem like that's something bad when him just like flirting meeting a guy but then you parlayed in so you never got paid did you eventually get paid because if you did you stopped complaining about it and if you didn't you should have like quit you know what i'm saying that that makes sense and then went to go work with somebody else but you probably eventually did get paid and you should have just had a conversation with him like you know i really need you to pay me up front or pay me sooner because i have like a family and stuff like it, this is just unnecessary drama and it's making you look bad a little bit of todrick i think todrick hall will come out soaring todrick hall will he make a video say because like tommy put his cards out on the table todrick hall can either respond or not but todrick hall is in like is blowing up so much he probably won't even respond and it just, it just feels like Todrick's blowing up and you're just trying to pull him down. That's what it seems like to me. Anyways, here we go. I remember when I was on tour with Todrick during Straight out of Oz and so-and-so aggressively came behind me on the tour bus and put his hand down my pants and grabbed my junk. In the legal word, they call this sexual harassment and Todrick punished me 
after I told him. That's what I'm saying. This happened and you still worked for her, bro. You would think you would have quit then. But it's like, and you make it seem like, and he punished me. Like, really? I don't know what was going on. I wasn't there. And if that happened, shame on Todger Cop. But at the same time, you should have enough respect and dignity to pull out of a situation and leave. But yet you stayed. But you stayed. Anyways, here we go. And then he's posting pictures. He keeps posting pictures of him and Todrick at Disney. You're exposing him, but then you post a picture of y'all having a good time at Disney. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. And this is the part of the industry I don't like is whenever like you work with somebody and then either y'all just stop talking, you grow apart, and that person wants to come out and expose you. It's just, it's a low, it's nasty, it's horrible. I don't know. It's just, it's very messy. And I'm not trying to say that Todrick Ha is a, I'm not trying to say Todger Ka is innocent, can do no wrong. I think Todger Ka is shady. I think Todger Ka talks a lot of crap behind the doors. I mean, who doesn't? You know, it's like, but you need to understand that like behind closed doors, Todger Ka joking and saying stuff doesn't necessarily mean you should put it out in the public. It's just, it just mind blows me. And it seems like Tommy's clout chasing. I already know a lot of y'all are probably already put that in the comment section before I even start the video. Tommy clout chasing. I think he's clout chasing the house. He just wants, you know what? My career of being a personal assistant and making thousands of dollars a month is over. I'm going to try to clout chase this as much as I can because I'm ruined. But in doing so, you ruin yourself even more because now nobody in Hollywood is going to work with you. Now, nobody on Hollywood will ever want to work with you because they know that as soon as y'all get fired or you leave and you start talking, it's just no one wants you ruin yourself the house. You really did, and I feel sorry for you, Tommy. And shame on Todd Rakai, you should have NDAs on your assistance. I'm just saying. All right, so I think he'll be fine. This is my opinion. I think he'll be fine. I have a Jeffree Star Mystery Cup, and I want to unbox it and show you what I got. All right, so let me see. Uh, all right, okay, here it goes. So we got black wrapping paper for Halloween. Attention to detail, folks, attention to detail. All right, so first thing I got is a green wrapper, again, spooky for Halloween. Has a little sticker on there. Uh, and then we got some more packaging here. And we got a palette. We got the mini draw, <laughs> mini draw. We got the mini breaker palette. All right, let's see what it looks like. I've had this palette before and I really like it. It's a really good one. Check it out. Ooh, it's so pretty. These colors are amazing. I really like this color here. I've, I've always just grabbed it because it's pink. Okay, so there you go. And it looks so pretty. All right, next thing we got, we got the mystery shade. I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got in there is that those three items. Okay, so here we go. So this is gonna be color glazed in a green packaging and here we go so it looks just like this open it up and here's i think this has like a little shimmer to it okay here we go here we go, here we go. there you go so it's like a, oh should i put it on hold on okay hold on guys i'm gonna come out and i'll be looking like kylie girl okay here we go mm, yeah it's like um I don't know, I like it. It smells so good too. It's like, a, it's almost like a shimmery lip gloss, but without it being a lip gloss. Okay. And then we have Family Jewels. I think this was part of a collection. I think it was like the family collection, like the one shaped in the house, but I'm not sure. And I'm going to put this here. I'm probably wrong. It's probably not that collection, but it's a beautiful, beautiful Bobby Brown. And then we got the new one, the Elusive Exclusive brand new one this is called soul sucker so you only get this color if you buy the mystery collection okay so here we go this is soul sucker and it, it is that color it almost looks like a like a dark black um and then i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see whoa hold on i have to get more because i really want you to see it so this one is it has like these reflex in it. Okay, hold on. It's like spooky. Check it out. So what What do I, it's like a black, like a tin almost. What would you call that color? Rose gold, rust right there effect to it. So it's like that little, oh, that's nice. So yeah, that's really cool. You know what this reminds me of? Like throwback the house. That color kind of reminds me of, 
the very first Jeffree Star palette, there was the, right here, it's called Black Rainbow. And it had like these shimmers in it too that was black. Let me see if I can try to like get it to pick up on camera because it's like kind of hard. Okay, let me see. Okay, so here's Black Rainbow. It has shimmers in it. Ooh, and then here's the, oh my God, that looks, that, whoa. So this, that was a lipstick and this was the eyeshadow, but that's pretty cool how it all just kind of comes full circle, all right? Okay, anyways, so that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that was my mystery box. And so let me know what you think about all the drama. It's just great. I mean, I'm like shook right now. I'm really, okay, first of all, I wanna say I'm really happy with my mystery box. I'm so shook. I got a whole entire palette, two liquid lipsticks, and then the new mystery one. But I think it was really, it's really pretty. And yeah, I'm happy with it. I think the value for the box, I think you really do get like what you pay for. It's like a mystery, but you get a lot of value in it. Especially like if you're on a budget, like the holidays are coming. Not everybody has like a lot of money. So this is very, this is like a cool, fun thing. And I like it a lot. So let me think about the drama and we'll see you in the comments. And uh, yeah, bye.